This is Athena Jezik. Um, stomach issues. A lot of times people have stomachs that hurt. They'll have pain in various areas. They'll have swelling. And the question for you all is, is do you fall into that category? Are you uh, one that takes a lot of antibiotics without probiotics to follow to correct things in the stomach once you get rid of the infection? Do you eat foods that are processed or foods that you aren't sure if they're genetically modified? All of that, those factors that you can control to a degree um, and at least be watchful for, that's something that you can manage. But once you do get a sort of a stomach ache or you've eaten something that's a little too rich or all that, there's ways of kind of moving the fluids around and moving peristalsis to help things just get moving so there's not anything sticking in there or not functioning properly. Sometimes when our gut is real full and our intestines are very full and we're somewhat constipated, which I would say most of you are, even though you might think you aren't, you probably are if your diet isn't real pure. Uh, that sort of thing is oftentimes needed to have maybe cascara sagrada, some kind of assistance to get the peristalsis working again because what happens when the bowel gets very full and impacted is that it gets flaccid and it's not going to be able to function peristalsically to move anything through. Bulk laxatives aren't necessarily the answers if the, if the uh, peristalsis isn't working very well. And of course there's always such things like coffee enemas or different types of things like that which are maybe sound like kind of gross but nonetheless if you want to have good health you're going to have to also look at the inside of your body and because that's where your health comes from it's not just buffing yourself up on the outside so if you have these types of things going on a little thing you can do for yourself is to work the stomach and work it while you're laying down and sometimes it's all right to if you need to put a pillow under your knees but uh, you can start by just kind of moving yourself, uh, like moving your upward over the liver. The liver is oftentimes uh, an area that will get congested and it can become kind of pressure pain. Sometimes there's a little gallbladder pain with all that when we eat the wrong foods or we're not eliminating properly or we've had to take medications that have slowed the system down. Gut health is this really the most important thing for overall health. So it's something not to be slighted, it's something to take very serious. You can take your hand over your liver and kind of roll it around a little bit and just activate it and push harder in and then do it in the other direction this side kind of the same thing it's not a liver here there's a pancreas but you can still kind of work around there is some nodes right between the rib cage as they come down below the sternum below this little xiphoid process where you can push up it's called the cisterna chili if you go slow at that sometimes when you feel real bloated you can actually feel the fluids moving up into there it gives quite a bit of relief so you want to go slow in this area. Then you can take for lymphatic moving fluids down in the bottom part of the quadrant, moving the hand in that kind of direction. And same with the other side. There's a lot of absorption that goes on. There's a lot of work that goes on in this area. I'm not versed in a lot of the technical stuff that happens, but I do know that I see a lot of people and when they are not functioning well in the gut, their condition is not very good. It just isn't. You can take your hand and kind of just make a little circle around the center, right where the belly button is, the palm of the hand can go and you're making a little circle just to kind of get things moving in the, underneath that hand is the small intestines. And they have a lot of, a lot of, there's a lot there. And just kind of be gentle, but yet 
feel what you're doing and also stay real focused with your mind and connect with your body because the body will guide you around and you begin to feel what's going on. The body will actually let you know. It'll tell you in, in its own way what needs to be done. If you're choosing to eat poorly, you're choosing to eat a lot of fast foods and a lot of packaged foods and a lot of non-organic or GMO foods, you're going to find yourself in a state of ill health at some point in your life. In my opinion, the food source is very, very toxic. It's very poison. It has little or no nutrition in it. And in my opinion, it is done purposely because there's a lot of money to be made on people being sick. So that's the game. If you want to play it, be welcome to. But just know that what kind of game you're playing and what the outcome is going to be. There's a lot more discipline in eating right. There's a lot more discipline in replenishing yourself if you've been on antibiotics. And it may cost what you seem a little bit more, but if you think that being sick is, is not a costly thing, uh, you're grossly mistaken. And it's not the government's responsibility to take care of you. It's your responsibility. This is your body, your property, and you do with it what you will. But don't expect other people to pay or be sympathetic if you're going to sit around and destroy it after you learn what's going on. There's a lot of information on Psyche Truth about diet and nutrition, and I would highly recommend you to go to that if you're interested and begin to learn and begin to take care of yourself and to begin to treat yourself with a little compassion and love because you only have your health and once that goes you don't have anything else you can do in life but take care of getting well and if you don't know how to do that then you're only going to be given methods that are not going to be conducive to getting you healed so I'm just going over these same little quadrant parts over and over and over And then I'm going to show you a little peristalsic work to get things moving and pushing. Be sure that you drink a lot of water too, preferably non-fluoridated water. So here I always start down at the opening, uh, the end of the large intestine, the descending colon, and just kind of work this direction up and around. And I just, I'm into the muscle a little more on top of it. You can jiggle it a little. And kind of pull it and stretch, being gentle, but just giving it some activity so it can get kind of woken up from being filled with food and then no exercise or too much in front of the TV or internet. It's very important to get out if you exercise and run or dance or move or something like that. You're going to be far better off too because then you're also exercising your your organs which we don't really think about very much but we should start to pay attention to what the organs do for us and be grateful that we have such a wonderful body and we should ask ourselves if we are in that situation why we're so ready to abuse it so much I find that people in general who take better care of themselves are far more conscious at much greater levels um, than people who are more abusive to their body. They seem more nearsighted, very narrow focused, and uh, their minds don't work very well. They're not fun for me to have good conversations with. They're actually boring people in my mind. So here I'm stretching it again. i had gone around and I'm gonna explain a little more now. So here we're gonna go with the, following the intestinal track, up and around this little turn. Some of you may wanna consider colonics.
Drink a lot of water is always good. And then I'm going to retract it back. Once it's open, then I just retract it, and I'm more onto the, you know, the organ itself. Then doing straight lymph work because this is more for yourself. You can do this to yourself, and then stretch the skin to keep the fluid moving. And then you can do more circles. And sometimes, uh, if I've eaten poorly, I'll feel. I can feel what's going on and what's moving, and sometimes if I feel something kind of hard, which is something moving through the intestine, I'll get that my fingers on that spot and I'll just gently apply a little bit of pressure behind it so it can move in the direction it needs to go, which is clockwise, and I'll just hold and just kind of let my fingers sink in and then gently nudge to try to urge that to move. Just nudge it a little bit. And you might feel that, you know, that it'll start to move and there'll be a little groaning going on perhaps. But then it'll feel different because it's been moving. So it won't have quite that hard feeling or feeling like there's a little stone in there or rock or whatever. So that's another thing to, to do. My emphasis is really to get back in touch with your body get to know it. It's your property. It's what gets you around. It's an important thing that we do. It's part of our responsibility as human beings. We become very lazy when we expect other people to, you know, have their in best interest in our health when so many people are oriented on just making profit. So I'm trying to give you some things to think about and start to consider and look at yourselves. If we all did that, our society would be completely different the way we treat each other. We've come into the world as more like a big shopping mall run by corporations than a friendly place where nature can just nurture us and we can connect to ourselves and to nature and eat the foods that are intended for our bodies. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing that and that's what you can do uh, for yourself if you're feeling bad. You, you might sometimes have pain up in here. Sometimes it's the gallbladder. It's about right in this area. And you can just work your fingers around that a little bit too just by, you know, just Follow it and see where it moves you to. Don't use a lot of force. Don't dig in. Don't gouge in. Don't do that. Just be gentle. Give it a little help. The body is remarkable. It wants to be healthy. It wants to be whole. But it's up to you and your mind and your thinking to either help it or hurt it. It's only two things there are. It's you're going to help it or you're going to hurt it. And if you want to preserve yourself growing older, it's important to eat right, do exercise, keep your emotions in a good place, work through problems. It's all connected. It's all connected. And I'm doing something here a little different. I'm just draining upward. You can probably get your hands in that position on you, but this way you're drawing things upward into the um, Move, helping it to move up into the arms, the uh, axillary area. Okay, so that's just a little something that you can do, and I hope that some of the words that I spoke to you, if they sound a little harsh, you're a little offended by them, then I suggest that you do take a look at yourself in that, because the offense is not what I've been saying, because my intention is only to help you. The offense would be in that you don't want to look at yourself, that you're in denial about something. So please begin to pay attention and become whole and healthy and happy because life is all about having fun. Thank you. This is Athena Jezik.